yeah, it's definitely, um, you know, with, with the game and stuff like that, how, how it went, you know, you're not really, I'm, I'm not a slack guy, you know, at the, at the end of the day, um, we, we didn't get the job done enough to win the game. So, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a tough loss for sure. But at the end of the day, like, the stats really don't matter at all. Um, you know, I play for the team and what this program represents. So, um, I, I know I don't look into that at all. So, you know, it's kind of unfortunate for us. Was there a certain period this season when you started feeling more comfortable when it sort of, coaches talk about the light coming on? Was there a moment like that? Um, I'd say it was just, um, I, I, won't, I won't say it was a specific moment, I'd say. Um, I would say just with the development of pieces of things, um, you know, just how the more the more time you got experience on the field, I'm going to put in some different situations. Um, so you kind of feel more comfortable in those moments and I'll be able to play your game. Yeah, we just know what type of game it's going to be, a really physical foul game. Um, we know it's going to be that game's going to be won in the line of scrimmage. So uh, we've been really emphasizing just making sure um, our fits are really precise um, and we know what uh, we got to do for each play. No, he's played a tremendous role uh, with just my techniques um, and how to prepare the right way. Um, I know I have tremendous guys in the linebacker room. That's helped me, uh, helped me with that as well. Um, obviously, they learned that from Coach Drew as well coming in this program. Um, so they've helped me um, implement, implement his style um, into my game as well. But with his just, um, you know, um, just, you know, I, I want to be coach hard, and that's the style I want to be, and just being able to um, have him coach all these little details and stuff like that to make sure uh, the time the game comes that uh, you've seen everything. I'm be able to play football. So you would describe that coaches you guys guard and on the details all the time. Absolutely, yeah. We're a details we're a details group. Um, and that's kinda what we pride ourselves on making sure like um, everything's precise. Um, and that's kinda how we grade ourselves through each week. And we just want to make sure that uh, we do what we can, uh, our one eleventh for the team. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Malcolm's a uh, tremendous guy. Um, he's, he's a great person as well um, behind his football, uh, great football ability. And just to see, you can see in his eyes when he's on the field um, that he's not going to back down to nobody. Um, I love seeing, I can look to the left of him and I see him get right, right up on the man and pressing him. Um, it kind of just shows how, who he is and just how he's just not going to back down to a fight. Are you looking forward to uh, this different experience that happened on Friday, playing a rivalry game, doing it on the road in front of a hostile crowd? Yeah, so I'm looking forward to it. You know, being a Nebraska kid, I'm watching these games throughout the years. Um, you know, it's different being a fan, but now being a player, um, it's definitely a different, another opportunity for me um, to play in a, a rivalry game like this and see how it all feels out. You know, Iowa has a lot of really cool things that they do with their offense. Um, they do a lot of things that can really mess with their eyes. Um, you know. At the, end of the game, at the end of the day, they might run a simple play, but they have a lot of different things moving with their offense, uh, just try to like mess their eyes and uh, you know, get you off um, the wrong keys and stuff like that. So for us this week, um, it's been really, really important to trust our keys and know, uh, know of our assignment, um, knowing what they're going to try to do with us. And their pass game is like really, I think it's a really, really cool concept what they do uh, with their boot game and how they use their tight ends. So uh, with that, you know, just being really precise in our fits and knowing what we have to do each play. You know, Caleb's been a great person to look after since I've been here. Uh, coming early, seeing how he just works, you know, from the weight room when I came in winter conditioning, um, and see how he carries himself on the field. You know, seeing a veteran like that and how physical he plays, um, and I, I just look, I can look down at our D-line, how physical they are and what they do each day. Um, it's tremendous. Like, um, all across the board, I look at our defense and how hard they work and how hard they prepare. Um, you, you, get, you get a sense of confidence out there. When you look down, you see all those veterans out there that's, that's been through all these things, and um, they're right there with me, guiding me along the, the journey. Uh, it's pretty simple for us. It's, it's just control what we can control. Um, it's kind of been our motto like, throughout this whole year, really, because you know, there's been a lot of uncertainty just right, right away when um, our coaching change happened. Um, you know, we kind of had to make a decision that um, we kind of have to block out the noise and what's going on, on the outside and just control what we can control um, and do what we have to do each week. Our preparation has changed it all um, each, uh, each week, uh, no matter the circumstance with the result, um, even though we've been through some tough losses this year. And you know, we don't really know what's going to happen after the game, but we just can control what we control and uh, fight one last time. How, many, how often are you asked about what you think is going to happen after the game the next week and so on and so 
Yeah, it's definitely something that, that you're asked, like, throughout the team and stuff like that. Like, you, you'd be lying to say it's, it's, not, it's not something that comes up, you know, with discussing other people and um, not just football players, but people outside of football in the program. Um, but like, like I said, you just got to control your control and um, you just got to do what you can do. We have, a, we have a game on Friday, so all the attention is on Iowa and we should do what we can do. Uh, it's just special. I think the leadership is number one. The leadership here on this uh, this team is just tremendous, and just how like those guys have taken that role on this team and just passed it down to guys and just kind of spread throughout the team. That you know, no matter the situation, that we're just gonna fight no matter what. Uh, we're gonna give it all. We're gonna prepare the right way. And then when it's game time, uh, we play fearless out there. And I mean, it's been tremendous to watch and be out there in the field with those guys because um, you know you can look to your right and left and just, you're just playing for the brother right next to you. And you know that's something that we've been we've been stressing since this whole year. Uh, because, you know, sometimes it's, uh, it's tough out there sometimes with just what's going on. And just being able to look to the right and left to you pre-snap and know that those guys have done everything they can for, the, for this week. You just play with confidence.